Hello and welcome back to uh, Gravity Team Tactics under the Cruel Star DLC and you know the scenario by now, I'm not gonna bore you with the uh, setup because um, we have defended this before oh and here, here comes the Russian assault the question is can we hold out once more and to be honest not necessarily looking that great because we are getting more and more depleted here. We don't have our Stuxen support because in the last uh, battle, as you might remember, we uh, counterattacked into this direction here because they were behind us. We did beat that back, but it did deplete our ammunition and, well, our soldiers and just basically it depleted everything. Obviously we have an 8th up our sleeves uh, in form of the Panzer Force, but these are still way behind our line. That being said, so far we have been able to very nicely um, defend here. Oh, enemy tank! That's not good. Obviously we're trying to burn down that thing again, because we always do that. And here we go with the enemy. This time they're trying this flank again. Bombarding these uh, suspected Russian positions. In the hopes of causing some casualties. Although what really interests me is how th will they use... Oh, here we go. How will they use their tanks? I do have a puck uh, in support, which so far I haven't really done much. I think they hit a tank once and damaged it, and that was it. But other than that, and that big uh, armored engagement in the uh, snowstorm, that was really bizarre. We haven't been really faced with a lot of tanks here. They are coming concerningly close. Is that a word, concerningly? Okay, our machine guns are actually shooting at them, so that's good. Our? Yep. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. Are they retreating, or what are they doing? Nice. We really need to use our heavy weapons here to beat them back. Because our flank here is so weak, we only have these guys there. More Russians running around here and getting shot at by our MG42s. Whoa, what is that? Okay, this must be the main attack, I guess. Uh, 
That's of course a nice target to see them all bunched up there at the road. Okay, they're scattering now that they're under fire, obviously. Oh, that's better, that's better. That's perfect, actually. Nice. Now retreating, I think. Or at least scattering about. smoke though to mask their movement, but uh, luckily uh, that was only after I called in this artillery. Shit, what the fuck is going on over here? Okay, the Russians have actually dug in here. But apparently we have inflicted some casualties on them here. Okay, I probably need to cancel this artillery before we run over out of ammo. It appears uh, the enemy is bringing the tanks up now. So we will see how our uh, anti-tank gun placement is soon. They're probably trying to uh, support this assault here, or what's left of it. We also appear to have, over here, uh, knocked out some kind of anti-tank gun. Uh, I don't know if I can find it now, it's somewhere here. We knocked it out. This infantry position also almost destroyed without me even noticing, so that's a good sign I guess. Oh yeah, that's the anti-tank gun. So that's good, that won't be available for fire support either. Yeah, this... I think this flank is relatively secure at this point. We will see how... Nice. We will see how our... Tanks... Uh, anti-tank guns fair against their uh, Valentines. What's the situation here? This still looks a bit shaky. The initial probe seems to have been beaten back, I think. But maybe they infiltrated past them. I'm hearing the sounds of battle from back here. Oh no, wait, that's my mortar, never mind. <laughs> I think. Here come the tanks. And here comes an anti-tank gun round that missed. The anti-tank guns are also placed on that uh, far ridge over there. That was maybe also one. Up, that is getting closer. Have more. Uh, ah, the smoke is in the way now, which might make it harder to hit this thing with an AT gun. Now 
I think that's the off-map mortar. Yellow. Damn it, the smoke is actually masking their tank movement now. And I don't think my, um, my mortars can knock out the uh, Valentine. No, that guy has his ears ringing now. There's an anti tank gun round. Oh, hit! Not and another hit. I think it's knocked out. Yeah, they're getting out. Okay, and one tank destroyed. Nice. Okay, the survivors of that artillery brush slash ambush are still active, actually and are slowly but surely advancing towards our lines into infantry range. I think they're trying to form up for another assault. Yeah, that's the fire of my infantry. Another artillery strike has been ordered from the Offmer party, which still has some uh, ammo left. Dude, you're shooting at your own guys. Calm down. Jesus Christ, they just keep coming, huh? I thought that that artillery strike would kind of knock the enthusiasm out of them. Ah, uh, so much uh, MG42 shooting. These are actually kind of running out of ammo, though. Seems to be relatively silent now, but I saw another green flare going up back here, so they might be sending in a reinforcement as well. Ah, my artillery is getting closer. And further away again. Nice! Yeah. Oh, that's good. Good, okay, okay. They're being shelled again. That's pretty close as well. This guy seems wounded. That is the end of it. I mean, they are still alive, but I can't imagine they will do much of an advance after this.
That's not mine. Must be Russian artillery preparation to, for an assault. Are they popping smoke here? Alright. Okay, there are definitely uh, Russian reinforcements coming. Anti-tank riflemen, for one thing. So this is not over yet. Guys are also still active. Hmm. Pretty close to my guys, actually. Problem is, my uh, MG42s in support are basically out of ammo at this point. Or not completely out of ammo, but mostly. So, this is actually getting kind of an issue. Otherwise, they would probably have been mowed down already. Oh, there's more green flares coming up. They're sending more and more people in here. That's a uh, HQ unit, I believe, because they have like a radio, not radio, like a cable guy with them. Nice! Okay. The reinforcements are finding out that this is not an easy nut to crack. I must be disconcerting, advancing here and seeing all these dead Russians lying in front of our position. Oh, Jesus Christ, there's so many. Okay, I checked and all my on-map mortars are out of ammo. Otherwise, oh god, what the fuck. Yeah, I'm not sure I can hold all these people, to be honest. It really depends on where my off-map artillery falls at this point. Actually, there's at least one MG42 that still has ammo that apparently has sights on this. Not to mention my normal infantry. Can we beat this back? I hope that if I inflict some casualties on this, they will finally uh, offer me a ceasefire here. Yeah? Oh shit, they have a heavy uh, machine gun in support as well. Those are actually very dangerous. I've learned the hard way. Th There's more. This might be the end for this position, unless they offer me a ceasefire real soon. Just that we're running out of ammo with the heavy weapons is a problem. I think this is a completely fresh unit. Look at all the PPSHs and the uh, different uniforms. comes my artillery off map. That was actually pretty close. That would be a nice uh, artillery stonk if it happened here. Oh good. Uh, not so great. Well actually we are hitting some people back here so that's good. Christ, how many are there? 
offending in a whole company here. Unless uh, it is Russian smoke, in which case I got not knife. It might be Russian smoke, actually. Damn it. Yeah, I think we're about to finally get overrun here. We held out for ages, but they threw in another fresh unit and uh, that's that. You know what? I should switch on... Uh, I should switch the puck to actually engage infantry, maybe that will hurt. Oh, and here comes the puck! <laughs> Can't believe I haven't thought about this earlier. I was so afraid they would give away their positions, but... You know, the... <laughs> the 75mm HE is actually pretty useful, I think. But now that they don't have tanks in support, why not let them shoot at infantry? <laughs> They're throwing smoke now to mask them again. Maybe there's some hope still left. Jesus Christ, those fuck rounds. They were so bunched up. Okay, they're using up smoke now. Jesus Christ. Why didn't I think of this earlier? It works like a charm. Yep. That went well. Okay, despite uh, my uh, pucks opening up, I'm not actually sure, because these are still taken out, uh, the others I think it's close to panic, I might still lose this sector. But even if I do so, it comes at a prohibitive cost to the Russians. Oh, Jesus Christ, where are all these guys coming from? I must have thrown in a whole new company into this. That is a company, that's not a platoon. And, oh, they're coming really close to... that's a Maxim gun that wandered very close to our positions here. Uh, these are still active at least and they're also still firing. Now, uh, if they crest this hill, they will come under fire from more machine guns that I have on this uh, slope here. So there's that. Um, so that might uh, our next hope here. Yeah, see, we are still um, shooting at them from the flank now. Jesus Christ! They're uh, really throwing in the the uh, anti-tank rifles now as well. Still, I wish uh, they would just, you know, like, give up. So they have broken through here. Uh, now it's on the, my second line of defense here, which is relatively intact still. Let's hope we can um, at least give them a bloody nose here. Yeah, they are under heavy fire, even... nice.
Still there feed more and more into this breach now. Who is that and why are they not dug in? Ah oh, fuck it, we got We just need all the guns trained on them now. To stop the red tide. They just they really just they sent in all the anti-tank rifles. Oh, my artillery is active again. Nice. Uh, should be falling along this axis here. And hopefully take out some more. Another one taken out. Some reason my puck opened up at the tank again. Maybe they remanned it, but okay, now it's burning. Or oh, was it a different tank? No, it's the same position than the one. Yeah. Apparently they remanned it and my puck gun opened up on it. Other than that, the Russians are fighting into the um, village here now, but so far our second line still holds. The question is, is that enough to actually retain control of this area, but I think um, the Russians might get that at the end. And the Russians are offering a ceasefire, which I'm going to take, even though it might mean that we lose this area. If so, we need to counterattack uh, as soon as possible. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ, they still send people in here. To see it, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I, um, I'm not really, yeah, yeah, okay, they, they finally managed it, they finally pushed us out of this. Well, you know, they earned that with a lot of blood, so the question is how do we get them back out there the next time, well, we will see then. Um, so, what did we, um, where the casualties, we had 25, they had 132. Oh, they still have 302 left though, like holy shit. 4 killed, 38 killed, 94 heavily wounded, yeah, those are out, and then 67 wounded. We still have a lot of wounded, interestingly. And they lost two vehicles as well. Two, hmm. Okay, let's look at this. Did we knock out two tanks after all? Oh, and I no didn't notice? So we have this tank here. Which got hit by the 7.5 centimeter makes sense, and it's burning now as well, which is good. What is the second vehicle they lost? What did I miss? Hmm. Valentine burned. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe they lost a truck somewhere. Or they mean the anti-tank gun, but that's not a vehicle, that's an artillery piece. Hmm. Anyway, let's go back to the operation. Yeah, they finally pushed us out of, out of, us out of here, but yeah, next time we will see what we'll do. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it, and as always, thanks for watching, have a nice day.